Hi, Thursday's workout is called Ninja. Um, but before we start Ninja, you have a double alternating Tabata. Uh, Tabata, for some of you who um, have forgotten, is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, times eight. So it's a total of uh, four minutes. But a double one is going to be a total of eight minutes. So you're going to do 16 total rounds or eight reps of each exercise alternating. Uh, if you don't have a Tabata timer, um, there's a bunch of free ones that you can get just by downloading them from the Play Store. So check them out. Just search, search um, Tabata timer. Um, so the first, it's for core. So flutter kicks and Superman swim. I'm looking at my notes right here if you keep wondering why I'm <laughs> looking down. All right, so flutter kicks. Okay, you're gonna lay on your back, push the base of your back down into the ground. If you need some support, you can put your hands underneath your hips or you can just leave your hands out to the sides. You're gonna bring those legs straight out. So you have to bring that rib cage down um, to your hips to push that lower back down into the ground. And all you're gonna do is flutter your feet. They don't have to be fast flutter kicks like this. They can be slow and controlled but you do wanna make sure that your back is pushed into the ground for that entire 20 seconds. So 20 seconds of work. If you can't hold it or if you start to have bad form because your back is popping up off of the ground, okay, you can lift your feet all the way up here and do your flutter kicks from here, okay? Um, and that's the best option. Okay, so the lower you go, the more challenging, the higher you go, usually the less resistance it is. Okay, 20 seconds, 10 second rest. And then you're gonna flip over to your belly. You're gonna keep your legs together. Okay, arms straight out in front of you. And you're gonna do Superman swims. Okay, so Superman swims are just gonna look like this. You have your arms, kind of like a reverse flutter kick. You have your arms out in front of you, like you're swimming through the water or your Superman flying over the coronavirus. Maybe he can save us. <laughs> I don't know, okay? So for that, make sure you're squeezing your abs, your quads, your glutes, all of your back muscles to get that lift up off of the ground. Okay, again, it doesn't have to be super fast. Um, and I don't really care how high you are getting as long as it's as high as you can go and that you're holding it for as long as you can, okay? All right, so that's it for your Tabata. You're going to alternate between those two for 16 rounds, which should take you a total of eight minutes. And then you're going to move on to Ninja. Ninja is uh, five AMRAPs, five three-minute AMRAPs. So you're going to set your timer. Another thing that you can use a Tabata timer for is to set up things like this. Okay. Um, so you're going to set your timer for three minutes, and you're going to get as many rounds of three handstand push-ups, six Russian twists, and nine air squats as you can, okay? So for your handstand push-ups, if you don't have a wall, I don't have a wall in this room, then I can really demo a handstand push-up. Um, you can do different variations. You can do them from the pike position. Okay, nice flat back. Don't do them from here um, if you can help it. Okay, the higher the better. Or you can do them from the chair to get a little bit more vertical. And honestly, the ones that you do on the chair in that piked position, to me anyway, I feel just as challenging as kipping them on the wall. So it's up to you. So you're gonna do three handstand push-ups, six Russian twists. So it goes three, six, nine, three, six, nine. For your Russian twist, pull your core in nice and tight and focus on using your obliques to move your body back and forth. You can certainly do them weighted. Keep that weight close to you, not all the way out here, but kind of right here, just close enough that you can tap that weight to the ground, whether it's, I don't know, a kid, an animal, you know, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a plate weight, whatever you have, okay? So you can do that for your Russian twist. And then you're going to pop up for nine air squats. And I know you guys are all 
familiar with those, just keep your heels down, hips below parallel. Okay, and push those knees out to help you get out of that hole when you get tired. So you're going to keep on going. Keep track of how many uh, rounds that you've completed of each three, six, and nine rep scheme. Rest one minute between AMRAPs and then go again. Pick up wherever you left off, okay? So if you leave off with three Russian twists, you're going to finish off the second um, three Russian twists at the beginning of the next, next um, AMRAP. And just keep on going until you have five three-minute AMRAPs under your belt. Okay, so good luck with that one, guys. Hope to see you soon. Miss you. Bye.